China is facing an economic crisis centered on the real estate market, which has been the main engine of growth ever since Xi Jinping came to power in 2013. The model on which the real estate boom is based is unsustainable. People buying apartments have to start paying for them even before they are built. So the system is based on credit. Local governments derive the bulk of their revenues from selling land at ever rising prices. Eventually, prices had to rise beyond the level ordinary people could afford. That happened in the middle of 2021. By then, uh, the boom had grown to an unhealthy size. It accounted for nearly 30% of the economy, and it was eating up an ever-increasing amount of credit. After accelerating gradually, the property boom ended with a bang. Residential land prices in June 2021 were more than 30% higher than they had been the year before. The authorities tried to slow down the pace and ordered banks not to increase lending for residential real estate. The directive had the opposite effect from what was intended. It made it difficult for the largest and most leveraged developer, Evergrande, to meet its obligations. Subcontractors who didn't get paid stopped working, and people who had bought apartments started to worry that they may never receive the homes they were paying for. When the main selling season started in September, there were many more sellers than buyers. For a while, there were hardly any transactions at the advertised prices. But today, prices for both land and apartments are starting to fall. This will turn many of those who invested the bulk of their savings in real estate against Xi Jinping.